الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبتي في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم in a dua a beautiful dua that the mu'min should frequently ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adab al-nar Oh Allah Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana Our Lord give us goodness in this life as well as the hereafter Waqina Waqina Adab and 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 protect us from the hellfire. So again, the humble position of the mu'min is what? Is that they are humble and that they are asking and seeking guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're never puffed up with pride thinking that they are Ahla Hidayah, that they're the one who's guided, that they're the one and everyone else is on Dalal. And why this is important for us as mu'mineen to realize that, or as believers, uh, a mu'min, and not think that we are something special like the Yahud felt about themselves and were once favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those communities of Bani Israel. But however, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah special status, la shak, no doubt. Those people who are haqqan ahl sunnah those people who are in reality from ahl sunnah wal jama'ah, meaning they adhere to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu was salam. And aside from this humility, going back to the dua, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana fil akhirati hasana wa kina dhaban naf. So since the mu'min realizes that he or she is in need of guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in need of his favor, they supplicate with this supplication. Our Lord, favor us with good in this life as well as the hereafter. And they are of the shakirin. They are thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the goodness and the blessings that they have, which is above so many in the creation. This is the favor from the various favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how is it that the believer can be arrogant and believe that they are not in need of Allah or that they are so special and favored and arrogant towards the rest of creation? La, la abadan. The mu'min knows that they need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hidayah and the mu'min knows that they need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor and the mu'mineen, they know that and they supplicate and ask for goodness in this life as well as the after. And they ask for salvation from the Nar. And that is a, a talaba hidayah. That's asking for guidance. And that's a, asking for the, to be of the Najihin, those people who are favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saved from the hellfire. Because that's the ultimate, the ultimate uh, of what we seek in this dunya is we're asking for favor in this life as well as the next. Favor in this life will come in the form of hidayah, will come in the form of rizq, will come in the form of khair in, in all of its various forms. And fil akhirah means the time when we reap the reward of what we did in the dunya. And part of that reaping in the dunya waqina adhab al-nar and protect us from the hellfire and we ask Allah the Almighty for khair Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana fi l'akhirati hasana waqina adhab al-nar wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam